What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Kubrat Pulev versus Jerry Forrest and this is going to be a 10 rounder in the heavyweight division and this fight is going to be Saturday May 14th from the Forum in Inglewood, California and this fight is going to be broadcasted on Fight TV and to get both fighters resumes, Kubrat Pulev fighting out of Bulgaria holds a record of 28 wins with 2 defeats and 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently not ranked by BoxRec due to inactivity in the heavyweight division. He's also a two-time former unified heavyweight world title challenger. And to list both of his defeats, he has a knockout loss to Vladimir Klitschko. And he also has a knockout loss to Anthony Joshua. And to list some of his best wins, he has a knockout win over Alexander Dimitrenko. A knockout win over Alexander Ustinov. A unanimous decision victory over Tony Thompson. A split decision win over Derek Chisora. A unanimous decision win over Huey Fury. A knockout win over Bogdan Dinu. And he also has a unanimous decision win over Rydell Booker. And I know that Pulev's last boxing match was um, against Anthony Joshua in December of 2020. But he did have a tried combat bout against Frank Mir, former UFC champion, where he stopped him brutally inside the first round. And that was sort of different than boxing because it was like boxing rules, but with clinches um, and stuff like that and with different gloves. So, um, I mean, currently Boxer has Pulev listed as an undefeated 1-0 with one knockout in bare-knuckle boxing. And obviously because they don't have a tried combat sports um, section. But um, to get his opponent's resume, Jerry Forrest, fighting as the United States, holds a record of 26 wins with four defeats and two draws. With 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 27 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division. And to first of all list um, all four of his defeats, he has a knockout loss to Gerald Washington, a unanimous decision defeat to Michael Hunter in their first fight, a split decision loss to Jermaine Franklin, and he also has a unanimous decision defeat to Carlos Takam. And to list both of his draws, he has a majority decision draw against Zile Zhang, which was pretty impressive considering he got dropped like three times. And he also has a split decision draw against Michael Hunter in his last fight. And many people, myself included, thought that Forrest won that fight clear. And um, to list some of his best victories, I mean, he he's really known for his losses and his draws because they're pretty controversial, um, except for the fir his first two. But um, his best win would probably be a unanimous decision win over Joshua Tuft. And um, as I mentioned before, I mean, he has a lot of split decisions, majority decisions on his record. I mean, that Zhang fight could have went his way. Same with the Hunter fight, obviously, in the rematch. The first fight was domination. The Washington fight was a knockout, obviously. The Franklin fight, many people thought that Forrest won. And the Tacom fight, I mean, it was more of a clear win for Tacom, to be honest. So in my opinion, this fight, um, at first when I saw it, I thought it was going to be an interesting fight. But now as I sort of watch tape on both these guys... Um, I'm sort of edging Pulev to win this fight a bit more clear than I had at first thought. At first, I was thinking, oh, maybe Forrest could pull off an upset, but I really think that, really think that Pulev is a bit too skilled and experienced for um, Jerry Forrest. I really think that Pulev, being that he comes from that sort of Olympic school of Bulgarian boxing um, in Western Europe, I really think that he's just too skilled for Jerry Forrest, unlike a guy like Michael Hunter, or a big, um, sort of powerful guy like Zilei Zhang, um, who doesn't really have the best gas tank. Um, I mean, I really think that Kubrat Pulev, although he's embarking in on his 40s, um, I don't really think that, I mean, Jerry Forrest will, um, get like a draw or even a win in this fight. I think that Pulev will just be a bit too much. And I think that he will simply just outwork Jerry Forrest by the end of this fight. But I do think that Forrest will put up a valiant effort like he did against Carlos Takam. And it could be a result very, very similar to that. And I think that the, or I think that this fight will go the distance, to be 100% honest. But um, I think that the judges could score this fight somewhere around there, like an 8-2 to two decision, 7-3 to three decision, or even if giving Forrest more of the competitive rounds, making it a 6-4 decision. I think it could be somewhere around there. It could be a wide decision, could be a closer decision, or it could be a real close decision for um, Krubat Pula, but nonetheless, I think that Pula will get, like, a clear unanimous decision victory, courtesy of the three judges, so, um, just to break down this fight, or just before I break down this fight, actually, uh, comment down below your thoughts on this fight, who you think is going to win, because I've seen some people saying Pula is going to destroy, um, Forrest, I've seen some people saying that Forrest is going to get an upset win, or even another draw, 
So I'm very interested to see what my fans and the people watching my videos, my subscribers, have to say um, about uh, this fight and you guys watching right now. And um, so just to break down this fight, I think that Kubrat Pulev will be the one sort of fighting him mid-range. And I think that he will be really controlling this fight. I, I know that many times he could see fighters fighting him mid-range and sort of both exchanging. But I think that Pulev will be the one setting up most of the offense in this fight. Um, I think that Jerry Forrest will try and find some counter punches he could land. Um, but I think that this fight will primarily be fought in mid-range. Um, Pulev... Um, a bit more composed than a guy like Michael Hunter. In their second fight, Hunter was sort of all over the place. He looked shaken, looked nervous. He really just looked out of his element. But Pulev is normally throughout the, throughout his career has been very composed in the ring, very calm, collected, and I think that we will see that here. Um, and I think it will be the sort of professionalism more for Kubrat Pulev, being that he's been in such he's been in so much more bigger fights than. Um, Jerry Forrest, and he's a, a much more experienced fighter, even though that they relatively have very similar amounts of fights, or even Forrest actually, I think, has more uh, fights than Pulev by, like, two. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, even though that Pulev has less fights, I mean, he's just been in there at the bigger stage, fought for two unified world titles, um, and I really think that Kubrat Pulev, nonetheless, will just simply outwork Jerry Forrest, and I think that every round will be very, very similar, very, very competitively fought, but um, Pulev might edge out most of them. However, some of them might be a bit more close. Some of them might edge in favor of Forrest, but I think that this fight will primarily be fought at mid-range, as mentioned before. Pulev um, might really be setting up shots to the body, really trying to just score points, maybe just outwork Forrest. Forrest will try and land some counter punches of his own, maybe exchange with Pulev. I think it will be a very competitively fought fight, as I mentioned before. A very decent fight to score, um, and a very just decent fight in total. But I think it will be edged in favor of Kubrat Pulev, based on his sort of work in the ring. And I think that, as I mentioned before many times in this video, that he will just simply outwork Jerry Forrest, and that will lead to him getting a clear unanimous decision victory. So overall, I believe that the judges will score this bout 98 to 92, 97 to 93, and 96 to 94, all in favor of Kubrat Pulev to get a unanimous decision victory in his boxing comeback since 2020 um, over Jerry Force to get this win. And it will be a very, very solid win, um, being that Force is coming off some solid performances, some draws, some controversial losses. And I think that Pulev will sort of set the tone by showing that he's back in that top 15 by getting this win. And as I mentioned before, I think it will be clear. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.